I'm Sarah and I'm here at the SC Microelectronics stand at Mobile World Congress 2025 and I'm here with Susanna. Hello everyone. Susanna, we are in front of a very sporty looking demo. You are correct. Uh, are you doing much sport yourself these days? Well, lately I have been into some sports because, you know, it's after Christmas, summer is coming. Summer is coming. So we need to get a little bit in shape. Yes, we do, indeed. Woo. So what about you? Oh, yeah, also same. trying? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been pretty good the last couple of months, swimming, walking, that kind of stuff, yeah. And do you somehow track your performance or improvements? Sure, yeah. I have a smartwatch, but it's, uh, you know, I sometimes feel like it's not super accurate. Oh, well, it's a good thing that you are here today with us. Uh -huh. So we have a new product which is really focused on this use case of sports activities. Okay, tell us all about it. So it's a new IMU accelerometer with the gyroscope. Mm -hmm. And with the, with the accelerometer or acceleration, we can go up to 80G. Okay. And we can be really accurate in the whole spectrum. Okay, and so what kind of innovation have we done there to be able to achieve that? It sounds quite uh, new. Yeah, so we have for the accelerometer, we have two separate cores. One is focused on the low G spectrum and one is focused on the high G spectrum, okay. giving us the accuracy through the whole range. Okay, and okay, so sport equals wearables, obviously, smartwatch, etc. Yes. Equals? Sport, uh, power efficiency. <laughs> power efficiency. So what are we doing there? So we have some kind of embedded features. Uh, for example, machine learning core and finite state machine, uh, which can process the data directly inside of the sensor, so we okay. can okay. reduce the interference with the microcontroller and reduce the power consumption of the whole system. Mm -hmm. And also in the sensor, we have sensor fusion low power, okay. which can calculate orientation of the sensor also directly inside and with less power consumption. Okay, uh, sounds fabulous. Um, and typically, what kind of sports would this be You know, good well, for? It's a really wide range, so starting from soccer through tennis, volleyball, okay, and all sorts. Okay, you name it, it'll work yeah. basically. Okay, so speaking of soccer and our disembodied leg here, uh, tell us about the demo. So, here we see a part of the leg where we mounted our new sensor. Yes. Our and here we have also a football. And we are trying to kick the football and see what intensity has it been, has it been kicked with. Okay, okay, so, can we have a go? So we have a dial, we can set the intensity either low or high intensity. Okay. So let's go with some uh, on go in the, the middle yeah. and press start. All right. So now let's wait a little bit until... Intensity build up. Yeah. Okay. And we kick the ball with the 38 G. All right, force. 38. Pretty good, pretty good. Susanna, however, I think we're not intense enough here. Can we go a bit more intense? So we can go all the way to the right, to the highest intensity. Yes. Start again. All so right. let's see. Scary. Boom. So we went up to 80 G. Okay, fabulous. So. Sounds brilliant. Um, can people get their hands on this product already? Yes, they can. It has been recently released, so people can find all the information on the SD website. Okay. So the link is in the description box, so go ahead and check out the information about the sensor. Okay, fabulous. Thank you very much, Susanna. Thank you very much for coming here today. My pleasure, my pleasure. So come and visit Susanna and the demo. And the demo, of course. <laughs> the leg at the SD Microelectronics stand. Have a good day, folks. See you soon.